Yeah, we try to have uh, two minutes for discussion. Thank you. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, sorry because of the Mr. Huang is busy. So on behalf of researching, I will present our primary results. Um, our study we call the office. Uh, this is a infra study funded by now first of Vietnam uh, to we investigate the uh, impact of the air pollution on cardiovascular disease and respiratory disease for whole northern Vietnam. And it's uh, my presentation that focus on the impact of the air pollution, a risk of hospitalization for respiratory disease in Red River region. Um, our research team in, um, include of the four partners uh, by Tamai Hospital, um, Nets, Vietnam National Children's Hospital, uh, Hanoi University of Public Health, and University of Energy and Technologies. Uh, each partner responsible for each part of the study. Uh, my presentation includes uh, the introduction, uh, briefly, uh, brief research methodology, main results, and some recommendations. Related to air pollution, we know that air pollution now has become the big problem in Vietnam, especially in, especially in Hanoi, where we rank as a second reason of polluted uh, just behind Beijing of China. And we, um, the previous study included epidemiology and toxicology already confirmed that air pollution impact on red respiratory disease because of the particular metal or dust uh, penetrate deep on lung and they cause the, a lot of problems uh, for lung and red respiratory disease system, including lung cancer. And in Vietnam, uh, that not the same in high income country, we face with uh, emission from air pollution come from the traffic or the industry activity, even in the power plants. Since Vietnam, we use a lot of coal for the, to make power plant in Vietnam. The second thing that in previous study, we already conduct study uh, investigate the impact of the air pollution on the respiratory disease in children. However, the evidence related to an impact of air pollution, special for ambient air pollution, that means that outside pollution, not in, indoor, uh, related to um, others is not well investigated until now. We base on the evidence of public, uh, international public. We do not be on the uh, uh, national study. Uh, our study, we uh, propose two hypotheses. The first is the estimated effect of the ambient air pollutant on respiratory disease in northern province in Vietnam. And second, we assess of the health impact assessment of air pollution uh, related to the hospitalization on Vietnamese uh, Population. Uh, based on this, in this research, for I just present the third objective. That means effect of the we estimate the effect of the ambient air pollution on hospital uh, admission due to respiratory disease. For this, we use the hospital admission data from all the hospital in northern uh, in three provinces. Hanoi, Phu Tho, and Quang Ninh. Why we use three provinces? Because three, this province, they were has uh, monitoring, fixed monitoring uh, air pollution uh, stations. In Hanoi, now we have uh, two um, monitoring st stations for air pollution, one in Long Bien, Nguyen Văn Cử, and one in the United States Embassy. Uh, we have uh, one station in Phu Tho and another station in Quang Ninh. Uh, in this study, we use the uh, data from 
of hospital admission for respiratory disease based on international classification disease codes uh, from G00 to G99. The data we used to analyze this report uh, from 2011 until 2016 come from 10 hospitals in three provinces. For methodology, uh, we use K-Growth Over Analysis. Uh, based on K-Growth Over Analysis, that's the same as the K-Control study. However, the study, uh, we don't use a K uh, is a person, K is time, the time the, uh, when the event happened and the time to be the event, uh, the control. Uh, in the model, we control for temperature and humidity. The results, the first that we just confirmed the, uh, the ambient air pollution concentration in three provinces uh, exceed both of Vietnam national air quality standard and special series. Uh, violate of the WSO guideline for ambient air pollution. And we hear that all of them is quite far above the, the level when the succession for public health for population. Uh, for estimate, I don't uh, d detail about, um, because it's, uh, the results are quite a lot, but in our results, we confirm that um, most of the ambient is associated with hospital admission for respiratory disease in three provinces. You know that in here, we use relative risk of three or more of the pollutant in above, in the each acid is the pollutant. Uh, PM10, that means particular meter with diameter less than 10 micrograms. PM 2.5, that means particular meter with di uh, diameter less than 2.5, and is etc. And you see, a relative risk, uh, more of them is about one, except uh, PM 10 and PM 2.5 in Phu Tho. Uh, come to uh, pneumonia. For pneumonia, we found that the particular meter uh, special in PM 2.5 and PM uh, 10 and NO2 is uh, more associated with hospital, hospital admission for the uh, pneumonia in, three, in Hanoi, but not in Phu Tho and Quang Ninh. For COPD, we uh, found that, um, we didn't found that the PM is uh, significant. However, we found a strong significant between PM 10 and PM 2.5 with hospital admission for COPD in Quang Ninh. And this is our study. If we stratify our result by season, that means in hot weather and the warm result. Uh, warm season, hot uh, season, come, uh, it's estimated from October this year, come to the March next year. And then uh, warm come from the uh, uphill to the September. And we found that the effort more strong in uh, warm season uh, in most of the region, as uh, you see in the graph. Uh, related to NO2, it's special uh, pollutant for our research because NO2 is come from the vehicle admissions, come from the motorcycle or use your truck and uh, admit from DSN admission. And we, um, Special thing that if you come back with my presentation, you see that the NO2 quite significant with uh, hospital admission with many outcome. But when I stratify by um, season, either NO2 on the warm season is not uh, associated. The problem is that in the warm season in Vietnam, special for person when it's hot weather in the NO2, that means it reacted with the light. It comes to another pollutant we call ozone. That's why this uh, comes to another more toxic pollutant. So um, that very brief uh, study and the publication will come soon because we already had accept and we confirm that air pollution, special for ambient, that means outdoor pollution, is that correlated with hospital admission in uh, 
for red respiratory in Vietnam. In our study, we investigate for pneumonia, COPD, red respiratory disease, upper red respiratory disease uh, for own adults and our own children. We found that particular metal is a quite um, important pollutant in Vietnam. Uh, however, strong effect happened in Hanoi and Quảng Ninh, but not in Phu Tho, where industry uh, activity is quite uh, a lot. We also found that the effect of the air pollution on the hospitalization different between the seasons and uh, between the uh, cold and hot season because of the react between uh, pollutant and light and react between the pollutant and temperature. And this is the whole of the, my presentation. And for our study, we recommend that uh, now everything become of the risk of hospitalization for red respiratory disease. Even the relative risk compared with your study may be very slow, but everything is a wide populated people. So we suggest that we need to have a project or a regulation to maintain of the evolution in Vietnam. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know. So, uh, Any I think, questions? I think for each uh, speaker, we should have two questions because uh, after that, we will uh, evaluate uh, who is the best speaker for this uh, session. Uh, maybe. Professor Tree, you have some questions. Uh, who, are, who are First of all, I want to say uh, congratulations. That's a great result. Because I know that's very hard to measure the ambient air pollution in Vietnam. And I think because of uh, support of project, we can perform some study in some province like Hanoi, Quang Ninh, um, Phu Tho. But I have some question. Because you talk that you talk about the relationship between the uh, ambient air pollution and the respiratory disease and admission of hospital or something, um, you only measure the, in the relationship in the acute respiratory. But I suggest that maybe it affects both acute and chronic respiratory, especially asthma is the main problem in the Western country. And why this research, you don't focus on some chronic disease. And second question is, how do you think this effect different between adults and children? Because uh, um, um, ambient uh, air pollution, it might change the lung function time by time. That's why, have you got any project on predict what's happened with a different uh, province and uh, different outcome in the future? Thank you. Um, thank you, Dr. Thuy. Related to the first question about acute effect, in our project is a more focused on acute effect. We, we, because it's a hospitalization. Uh, we, uh, for this study design, we cannot measure the long effect. Because it's totally designed for the ambient population, we should base on cohort. Cool. That means we say to know exactly where the resident live, where they work, where they travel, they can commute, because uh, where you live, you just sleep. But when you work, when you eat poem or you, the occupation where you eat poem or outside, or just you sit in the, in the office. Uh, in the, first. the second is asthma. In our study, we found um, we have asthma. However, we didn't find much related to asthma. Because I know that I already discussed with Dr. Zhou, asthma has seen her problem, two problems in Vietnam. The problem is that our study, we investigate acute effort. For asthma in Vietnam, now you, we strong uh, influence by the asthma control program. That means if you severe has asthma, you have hospitalization. Otherwise, they can come to hospital and your doctor, you and your colleagues, give them the advice and they control the asthma. They don't need help pillar. Because our hospital now the overload. You know that. That's why the data is not much. So I, I already think that and also so success means that I should base on the asthma database where you they uh, like my hospital has the data to follow them. Maybe they found other things. That's okay. why that's my don't 
didn't in plow and any hotel. Value okay, thank you. Very uh, your uh, response very very clear, and I don't know if uh, uh, audience have some uh, question or Doctor Thuc have some no, question. I have no and uh, so. Uh, Congratulations again, Thank and you. Uh, it, uh, your study is very interesting because uh, we, it, I think it's the first time we take a look on the air pollution in, uh, with the harmful effects of, uh, especially for the uh, NO2, uh, because uh, besides our breast 3D Z, the air pollution has the very, very strong and severe effect on on cardiovascular disease. And uh, so uh, this study is very, very interesting. And I hope that we, the study group uh, can uh, follow up the patient for long term, long term. More, than, yeah. more than one yeah. year, because yeah. uh, to yeah. know, yeah. to confirm yeah. that, yeah. The, uh, yes. to avoid the uh, se seasonal uh, effect on, uh, yeah. for example, for flu yeah. season to uh, to, to know if uh, the real problem is uh, related to air pollution or for, to another problem. Flu season, you know, maybe it uh, make the, the patient have the high percentage to uh, admit to the hospital.